Dude, how long does she have to live here before she realizes that you don't have to leave the room to change clothes? Wait! <laughs> what are you supposed to be? What kind, of, what kind of villain is that? I'm an evil queen. And there are no evil queens in Jim Bob's world. There's always an evil queen. Sometimes she's the head cheerleader, sometimes she's the fairy tale stepmother, and sometimes she's your sister. Ah, oh, Wizards of Waverly Place, a story role in one of this summer's biggest movies, a red hot music career, and a fashion line. Our next guest is a one woman empire who only turns 18 tomorrow. Please welcome Selena Gomez. <laughs> You don't have a lot going on, do you? I couldn't believe that list. You have so much going on. Thank you. Let's start right at the top. Um, we know you from Disney's Wiz Wizards of Waverly Place, but rumor has it that you are not going to be there next season. Is this your last oh, season? No. Oh, well, yes. This, I, we don't really know about the future of the show. Okay. We're, we're doing a fourth season and a movie. Okay. So we'll okay. be there for a while, okay. but um, we just, we're not sure about the next future for that. Okay, so eventually you are planning to not be there at some point. Right. Oh, no, I don't sad. like saying that. It makes me sad. Yeah, it makes a fan sad, too. Um, but the new film, Ramona and Beezus, by the way, I love Ramona Quimby oh. and Beverly Cleary's books. 30 million of them have sold worldwide. Huge fan base there. Can you tell us about your character, what the movie's going to be about? Yes. Um, I play Beezus in the books by Beverly Cleary, yeah. and they've been around for 50 years, and she did not want to do a movie with these books. She was so really like gun ho on not doing it. Why? So Why not? I, I don't know. I guess she was really nervous and I mean it is a big deal and I was petrified whenever they were gonna do it and she approved it, but she was so sweet and she loved it and that's everybody at the studio just went, Oh my goodness because everyone was watching her watch the movie and yeah. she loved it. So she was she on set while you all were uh, no she wasn't on set. She's ninety three years old so yeah. she oh. um she did make a little cameo in the movie though. Oh, oh that's I nice. her. <laughs> I'm gonna show everyone if we can a clip so yeah, check of course. this out. Hey, Beezus. Hi. <laughs> Selling lemonade? Oh, yeah, just helping out my little sister. Um, hello, delicious lemonade, anyone? Yeah, I'll have one. You will? Yeah. Well, that'll be one dollar, please. Exact change, pervert. Uh, Ramona, Henry doesn't have to pay. Here. Oh, Beezus. Thank you. Oh, Beezus. Shh. Oh, Beezus. Jesus, I want to Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> I, I think this one is amazing. I love those pictures. Thank you. Now, in real life, you're an only child, but in the movie, you and Joey King had this great relationship. Did that give you an idea of what it would be like to have a sibling? Was yeah, it a good thing? Yeah, it made me really sad. I really wish I had a sister. She's so sweet, and she's smarter than I am. <laughs> and she's 10 she's years funny. old. She's great. Yeah, she gives me great. advice on everything. She's great. You know, you and Miley Cyrus have a similar career. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you're both uh, singing stars, movie stars, TV stars. And it seems like Miley's trying to sort of outgrow that young image. Mm -hmm. And she's having trouble with the fans. They don't want her to grow out of it. Well, I think that everybody envisions their career a different way. And I think that they kind of eventually there's a point where you want to live for yourself and be yourself. Yeah. So if anything, it's all about what you want to do in your career. And I'm eight, about to be 18, but I still feel like I'm 15 and 16. So I'm, I'm not really comfortable doing anything that I wouldn't feel right doing. So the transition will not be that hard for you because you'll be comfortable with what yeah, you're doing? Probably. I mean, I would love to continue to have my fan base. I mean, they've been with me for four years. They mean the world to me. So Yeah, you want to keep them. And your birthday is tomorrow, right? Yeah. Aww, what what birthday? Birthday? I'm having a barbecue. <laughs> it's so lame. We're like cooking chicken and that's it. That's nice. <laughs> you and great. your family? Yeah. That's yeah. very nice. Yeah. 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 Now, the fact that Beverly gave permission for yeah. this, I wanted to go back to that because there's a really good story behind mm -hmm. it. Will you tell us why she actually finally gave permission for this to be done? Well, they weren't actually going to tell us anything about the whole process behind it. Mm -hmm. They just said that after five years of convincing her, she wanted to still be around to see the movie. Right. Oh. So it was a very, very big thing once they told the cast that because 
I was petrified because, you know, this is an honor to be a part of it. And I thought, you know, that was great that she finally let yeah. us do it. And we really took care of it and we tried to make it the best. And it's great, too, that it can cross generations in a new format, too. You know, yeah. from books to film, I think, is outstanding for the younger group. Um, you were just in Europe filming another movie, yes. right? How mm -hmm. was that? Where were you? What did you do? I had never been anywhere besides London. So I got to go to Budapest um, in Hungary, where we got to shoot wow, the movie, yes. and Paris, and then Monte Carlo to shoot the movie. Oh, and nice. this is the Eiffel Tower, and this is me and Leighton Easter and Katie Cassidy. We did okay. the movie together, and that was on top of the Eiffel Tower. We had to be up at 3.16 in the morning, wow. and we got the entire Eiffel Tower to ourselves. It was so beautiful. You'll never forget that. Never. That is nice. You know, the tabloids have linked you with some Hollywood hunks. Oh, for what? Really? Yeah, baby. Hunks first. <laughs> uh, I don't usually clear it up. You reportedly dated Nick Jonas. He's a little hunky. And then you were reportedly dating Twilight oh, hunk there. Taylor Lautner. Ooh. So are you dating any new hunks? Am I dating any? <laughs> That's so awkward. <laughs> we're just one. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm very much happy. Are those true, single. first of all? Uh, well, I, I have a very good friendship with all of them, so I think they're very sweet and they're really nice. So. Very diplomatic. I like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're actually going to come back with you, and we're excited to do that and show off your new fashion line. Hey, when we come back, don't go away. She's going to give us a sneak peek of her new fashion line. Selena Gomez, stay with us. <laughs> back with actress and singer Selena Gomez, who just added fashion designer to her resume. So tell us about this line, what it's called, how it came um, about. My line is called Dream Out Loud. It's ex sold exclusively at Kmart, and it's really fun and affordable, and it's kind of like my style. Great, and you brought us some looks to show us. And the first one, why don't you bring her out and then tell us all about the pieces in it. This is my first look. Um, it's, the, um, it's the boyfriend tee. The boyfriend t-shirt, so it's kind of oversized and it's really comfortable. This shirt that she's wearing is only ten dollars. The floral really? scarf, yeah, ten dollars. Ten dollars, and that comes in all different colors. The scarf is eight dollars, and the skinny jeans she's wearing is twenty dollars. And then she's got the schoolboy hat on that's eight dollars, and her flats are nineteen ninety nine. Oh my gosh, adorable. Nice. Okay. Now, what about your next look? You say it involves a mini skirt, I hear. Yes. This next look, uh, she's got the printed long sleeve Henley on. Yes, the, uh, the shirt she's wearing is $10. The dove print scarf is my favorite scarf because that's the, the logo for my line is a dove. Okay. And uh, the denim mini skirt is only $14. And the belt with it is $8. The striped socks that she has on is two pairs for $5. And then she's got the ruffled boots for $29.99 and the bag for only $18.99. Wow. <laughs> so it's accessories as well. It's shoes and accessories. That's interesting. We're, we're going into jewelry, but right now it's just accessories. Yeah, terms, that's so. really great for you. Now, this next look is a good one for fall, you say, yes. correct? This is, um, this is more of a fall look. The hat is my favorite piece. The hat is only $8, and it comes with black, and it has a little detail on the top. That's the, um, the plaited little skirt or shirt she has on comes with the belt, and that's only $16. The, uh, she's, um, she's wearing these um, jeggings, which are leggings designed as jeans. Um, and then she's wearing the cowboy boots that are little cut-off cowboy boots that are only $16. Did you make that up, jeggings? Yeah, uh, no, I didn't, no, but I wanted a lot of them because they're comfortable. Yeah, they are yeah. really comfortable. How do you get the point so low? Uh, that's that, that was the main thing. I wanted to make sure my fans could afford everything from my yeah. line. So that was the biggest thing I wanted to do. Yeah. And, Including this uh, next one, which is what you call a cheaper, right? I, I, I absolutely love this because this is called the two for knit dress. So it looks like it's a shirt, a belt, and a dress, but it's actually all put together and the necklace actually comes with it. And it's 
only sixteen dollars. <laughs> so yeah, that's the sixteen dollars. Yeah, be like four dollars a piece. Yeah, right. That's great. And then the the boots that she's wearing comes in black as well, and those are only twenty nine ninety nine. Do you have oh any sizes for girls who are a little chubbier than this? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we have all kinds of sizes, absolutely. And a great price too. Yeah, They're yeah. excellent. And this is the final look that you brought for us. Yes. Right? So we want to thank you for doing this, Lena. Thank you for having me. Excellent. Hey. Home with a tunic and a pair of leggings from Selena's Fashion Line.